my people i want to tell you guys a story wonders they say shall never end never underestimate that statement <laughs> today i was just on my own jejeli in a gas station buying gas you know over here we pump our gas by ourselves it's not like in nigeria where you have to pay and then a, a gas attendant to come and fuel your car or gas it up no i was just on my own jejeli buying gas and one asian looking man maybe in his mid 70s walked up to me you know how when you look at a person you know they've had hard times or they're having a hard times or they generally have lived a hard life that guy walked up to me and said please he demonstrated obviously he can't you know he can't speak my, my language or i can't understand his and he demonstrated he said please you know simply means something to eat he's hungry so i told him i just opened my wallet and showed him and say i only use debit cards he said okay no problem he walked away oh my heart was pained because this guy just needed what to eat if he's being sincere if he's not being sincere that's not what matters what matters is that at his age he still was able to trade in his dignity to ask for arms it doesn't matter if he's being uh, genuine or not the fact that he's able to trade in his his dignity to get that penny i have to offer means he's truly hungry because any man who is full will want to save his dignity so i said oh what do i do i now remember that i've been saving coins you know how if they give you change you have a bag where you throw it in and this bag has this that small purse has made my bag unnecessarily heavy so i'm like oh that's a win-win i i opened my wallet i showed him the the purse of coins and there are some quarters there a lot of quarters that he he may have more than ten dollars there and that could you know give him food in in somewhere decent so i opened and showed to him you want coins he said yes yes and he was so happy me too i was happy that i'm able to help somebody so i i he opened his his plate or whatever he was and i poured it in he was so happy bowing to me and he left so a few minutes later i looked and i saw him pumping gas in a truck in a big white truck and i'm like his car is even bigger than mine what happened is it like this guy ran out of gas and truly needed money to fuel his car and he's saying his food he needs maybe he thinks if he asks for food i'll be more considerate so i walked up to him i said i don't mind i can fuel your 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 car i can fuel your gas with my 80 my card you know with my debit card so as i was saying that he he signaled to me he signaled to me that the car belongs to someone else he was just helping this guy to fill his tank so i looked through the uh, driver's side and i saw one big man there balance with his beer beer i don't want to describe him more so that you will not tie it to race or anything but sha just know he's not from our kind of people sha that did that thing you no know. uh -huh. so he was just balanced in his truck arrogantly and this let me use beggar and this old man was foiling his tank for him so i said oh okay he he said he was just helping this man to pump his uh, gas so he doesn't have to come down from his truck to do it himself you know i'm surprised because it's only in nigeria they do that here if you're a big man you're on your own if you like be the president no not the president too <laughs> but if you're a big man you come down and pump your gas so you you shall still come down and pump your gas so i was surprised to see that that man was you know offering such service to this person and this person just balanced arrogantly waiting until that man filled up his tank and covered the 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 uh, gas tank and said that he has finished you know how people when they want you to you know favor them with small money you like that he's finished the man 
the man he now did that sign that he did to me again for the man the man just boom just boom you know what this man did he just closed his door then wind down when he was winding down, i was just watching all these things happening in very few seconds he when he was winding down his his uh, glass i said oh finally thank god he's touched he's about to give him money you know for food do you know what this guy did after winding down his glass he brought out empty can of water that he had drank plus tissue paper and everything receipts and everything that was stuffed into this empty water bottle he just handed handed it to the man that helped him that old man he just handed wind up and drove off hey and i'm like really can people be that mean somebody is hungry is begging life has humiliated him and he still came offered services to you that you can do by yourself just to show you that honor that respect that he can serve you just give him one dollar he's not asking for much in my case he took coins from me not even a thank you not even a gesture like on some other time and if you see this truck you know that man is he can afford anything he wants to no nothing he just drove off and that guy just took that uh, bottle uh, that empty water bottle he gave him and just put it in the trash near near the uh, pumping uh, the pumping machine he just put it there and i saw him crossing the main road maybe probably to go and buy food with the coins i gave him and i'm like that thing eh, i keep thinking about it i keep thinking about it i say ah i don't know if some of my viewers who are watching me right now can do such a thing you know people can justify what they do we all have different ways we think but how about now he may be saying in his mind oh when it's time for you to walk you didn't walk when it was time for you to save money you didn't save or, or why did you leave your country to come here that now you are now independent you're looking for food just ordinary food in the streets i don't know the things that might be going in his mind you know how people have things that are thinking their thought pattern that that justify the way they behave so because if you if you if you have time to discuss with that man you hear him say why he he's very in, not non passionate to this guy he's very um he's just he, no, no compassion at all zero compassion zero humanity zero everything is enough that you, you didn't give him anything you didn't even say thank you after he pumped your gas wind your glass up 